What's going on, everybody? Welcome to another Internet Draft here on Magic the Gathering Online. And by draft, I mean we're going to critique this deck submitted by longtime subscriber and friend of the stream, Monsonster. This is uh, a standard discard. You're, you're making them discard, basically. I don't. He he had a bunch of disinformation campaigns in the main deck, and he took them out, and he's like, I don't like these. And I was like, I think you're a big dummy. And he was like, that's fine, because I think you're a big dummy. And I was like, that's fair. And so... You know, we, we threw a bunch of insults at each other, and it was fine. Um, but ultimately, he took the disinformation campaigns out and put them on the sideboard. That's fine. But um, the only reason I like these now is because you see them in a lot of the blue-black decks in Standard. So you, you kind of get the impression that they are uh, good enough. But I don't know. We'll see. We have Duresses, Burglar Rats, Thought Erasures, and, uh, you know, obviously Nicol Bolas. And I would, even, I would even play more Nicol Boluses, to be quite honest with you. This guy is a good dude. Um, but I like the only creature that Ritual of Soot kills of ours is Burglar Rat. And then you have Aral, uh, Nangrath, and two Eldership Worms. And I, I like all these things. So I'm excited about seeing how this deck goes. We're going to call it Grixis Discard. Grix card, if you will. You don't have to. I, I understand if you don't. I, I wouldn't call it that either, actually. I just... It was a mistake. I'd also play Mordecai Bullets at this point. Why would you... Oh my god, you monster. I would have just, pl just put him in there. Unbelievable. Um, I think this hand's actually fine. No plates will turn three. We do have a lot of one and two drops. Specifically, we have 15. So we have a 15 and 53 chance, and then a 15 and 52 chance of hitting a one or a two drop. So a little better than 25%. No Raiders Wake for the are we even attacking? Who are we attacking with? Like a like a burglar rat? Okay, that's not that's not what we're looking for, but that's okay. Frank had a lot of two drops today, which is why he took the double break. This is awkward. Oh, Raider's Wake is the three mana one. I thought I'm thinking of um hold on, I'm thinking of a different Raiders card. Oh no, Raider's Wake is the one I'm thinking of. Whenever opponent discards a card, the player loses to life. That is the one I'm thinking of. No, I'm thinking of Raider Spoils. Uh whenever a warrior you control deals combat damage to a player, you may draw a card. Uh that is a cons of Tarkir card, so I can understand why you wouldn't expect to see that in this deck. Uh, I don't want either of these to be quite on it. Actually, I want the island so I can play Nicol Bolas next turn and so I can turn on my Knife Hill Predator. I don't think we want a third Notion Rain, but maybe we do. Yeah, I think both of these are actually fine. <clears throat> I don't want either of these. Turns into I'll keep them both. That's a poop joke. Do 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 do. Worn Power Stone shard. Intriguing. Here we go. Here we go. Nicholas Bolus. Nicholas Brolus. Memorial to War. There's a bunch of things happening. Five, a great draft, but I gotta run, Bugs. CTB, thank you so much for the donation. Really appreciate it, buddy. I will see you next time, I'm sure. On Dragon Ball Z. That's not what this is. I'm sorry. I misled you guys with my Dragon Ball Z comment, and that was... What in the shit is going on right now? Icy Manipulator. Icy Manips. Um... I'm just going to play Night Veil Predator here. I assume you're going to tap this guy, so, yeah, you know, it's whatever. Oh, you're not tapping this guy. Ugh, that land? What does that mean? Oh, Brian, what's going on, buddy? What's up, good sir? My dude. I guess we'll attack. He attack, he protect. 
We need more of in the deck. That's what I always say. Flip it. I don't know what's going on here, but... Uh, see, we haven't actually drawn any discard spells in our discard deck except for one Nickel Brolus. If this were DBZ, it would take Frank... Yeah, but you'd see a lot of close-ups on me tapping my lands and of me looking at my hand and then going back and forth between those two. So, yeah, that's pretty accurate. Voodoo Squid, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. So they have one card in hand. I guess they're going to draw a second one. No, they're not going to do that. Next turn we can flip Nicol Bolas. That's pretty good. What was your name? Who, who did you used to be? Voodoo Squid, who were you? <laughs> Voodoo Squid. <laughs> that's a good name. Oh, just an ungiven. Okay. All right. All right. Why did you change the voodoo squid? Out of curiosity. If you don't want to tell me if it's personal, I understand. You should change your real name to the voodoo squid. I think that'd be a good... I think that's a good name to have. Okay. We're going to go one, two, three. And we're going to... Some stay dry while others feel the pain. Thought... Thought Erasure or a Duress would be nice here. I want to grab their last card and make sure they have to play off the top before we flip old Daddy Daddy Bolas. I guess they could both. Of, you could they could use both of these to keep us. They could use just this, I guess, to to keep us off a of land. But if they're spending five, six mana to do that, one, two, three, four, five, eh, that's pretty bad. Oh, Burglar Rat seems just fine. Um, God, I don't know if I want this or not. I kind of have to have this, right? Burglar Rat's great because they have one card in hand. So St. <laughs> Nicholas Cage. Oh, my God. I wonder if they're going to be real mad about us getting rid of this last card. They're taking their time, so maybe. They're like, no. They're, say they're saying their goodbyes to it right now, I think. Getting thoughts, seizure, erasure early is really important most of the time, but they aren't doing anything. Yeah, that's good. I agree. <clears throat> Come on. Get rid of it. It's a good one. I know it. Oh, another fight with fire. That would have been nice. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. Oh, they were. Oh, man. That's good. That's good stuff. I guess they could tap down our land with an icy to keep us off that. Burglar Rat was good. End the stream. Good. All right. And on that note, thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Be sure to check out the deck list. It's in the, it's in the description below. And uh, play those Burglar Rats. I mean, they had one card in hand, so. Rat debts all around. Do they have the city's blessing yet? Yeah, it's 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 right here.
This guy seems hard to deal with. Surprisingly so. Yep, that's what I figured you'd do. That's a lot of mana. I'm going to play that. But I'm going to play this first in case they want to tap the red mana. Yep, tap old Brolis. Oh, another Brolis and another Bergy Rat. I probably just want the Brolis, right? Now I want a live action Nightmare Before Christmas remake starring Nicolas Cage with music by Smashing. None of that is okay. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Technically eleven mana. Two of it is temporary. The Power Stone shards are actually uh, doing some work. Brolis and Bergy Rat. That's a that's that's the name of my buddy cop show. Brolis and the Bergy Rat. One was a dragon from the mean streets of Dominaria. The other was a friggin' rat. Together. They're cleaning up Ravnica. Are they drawing a card? Oof. Oh no, they're playing the Immortal Sun. Okay, well, we need a way to get rid of artifacts. Do we have any of those in the sideboard? I guess negates are good. Oh, we got the quad negates too. That's nice. Disdainful Stroke also very good against the two artifacts that matter. So we're going to bring a bunch of those in and take out a bunch of... What what I what I like to refer to as dirtles. Are these the same rats Mike B? No, those don't... Those rats don't associate with me, unfortunately, because... You know, obvious reasons. They only have one card in hand, so that's good. Now they have two. Do we have a do we have a, a do we have a mountain in the deck? I, I hope we do. Okay, we do. That's good. This is good. Because if they kill this, I want to be able to get a mountain. I think they might kill it here just to get rid of it. They didn't. I guess we just flip this guy. I mean, they could actually tap this, so we're going to actually just flip it now before the damage, I think. No, we're not. That's terrible, because if we flip it, we can't use it. What a stupid idiot. I mean, we can still flip it because of Immortal Sun, but we're not going to actually activate it, unfortunately. <laughs> I was like, well, I'll just flip it now. <clears throat> can you imagine if I flipped it and I didn't think about that? God, what a f what an idiot. What an absolute boner. Put you on the bottom, I'll just keep you. That doesn't do anything. That's the biggest blank I've ever seen. Oh, let's get rid of that. That was a good hit. We're so good. We're very good at this game. I don't know if you guys knew that. Uh, is there anything close to a braid? Probably not. I don't think there's anything close to a braid. I don't think anything ever has been close to a braid. However, I will look up cards that destroy artifacts in standard. We have three blanks in our hand, which is pretty rough. Technically four if you want to. Although this guy theoretically should win in two turns. Uh, text artifact. Red in standard
There are 15 cards. Let's add destroy. Uh, we have shatter. That's fine. We have smelt, which is just a better shatter. <laughs> I don't know why they're both legal. Uh, demolish, goblin trash master, and fiery intervention. So the only ones that are constructed playable are like smelt and shatter. Also, Zakama. You can tap three mana with Zakama, which is a red card to... Uh... Why are you not playing Thousand Year Storm? Uh... Is that even a deck? I don't know what these periods are. What are these periods? <laughs> I don't know what you're doing. I'll do it. I mean, this guy seems pretty unbeatable here. I don't know what they actually do against this card, but... it's a, a, Doing a lag test is weird when they have six minutes less than we do. Sure. Sure. They have no cards in hand? God, I want to bounce something just to make them... Might as well make them use it. I guess they could have a Star of Extinction, but they have to really draw it off the tippity-top. I guess they have several ways to draw it here. They probably do have Star of Extinction, to be quite honest. So I guess we're just trying to avoid it here. Yeah, that's probably going to be bad when they hit it. They get two cards off this. They get to Azor's Treasure. They get to draw two cards off of treasure. So they get to look at like top five cards, which is pretty broken. I'm not sure if they can win with a Bane Fire. We can also Vraska's Contempt our own creature to gain two. Or our Ral, I guess. What up, Mossy Beard? Here it is. Here we go. Are we doing it? Oh, this is just a bane fire for like a million. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Wow. <sighs> and we are literally one life away. From just being able to use this and uh yep well wish i didn't hit the reveal hand button but i guess i guess that's life all right take you out take you out take all of you out actually hostage taker seems great bring in those one two three four one two Actually, don't have enough things. Frasca's condemned might just be fine. This guy makes them get rid of a card, so I'll just bring the keep the Frasca's condemned in just to gain the life. But that was something. Keep. Keep, 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 keep. It's from, uh... I see, I see. Oh, look, they brought in a rekindling phoenix and there's a meteor golem in there. No, we're definitely getting rid of the rekindling phoenix, that's for sure. 
I do like Unmored Ego here as a nice addition. No, well, that's good. So they played this. I actually don't want to take too much damage, but I think we can actually strip all the cards of their hand. I actually want to take two. I, I do want to go to 16 here and Thought Erasure them because I don't want to uh, miss a land drop next turn. Oh, you're going to play this, though. Oh, great. This is our only way to hit Rekindling Phoenix, unfortunately. Actually, we have Vraska's Contempt. I don't know why I care about that. So they have... They played this, so they have four cards in hand. Everything above the Field of Ruin. Wow, they just top-decked another one. That seems good. So what do they have? Field and Phoenix. Wow, that was hard to spell. So they play field. Okay, now they have Phoenix. You play field and you play Phoenix. Get burgled. Man, burglar at working overtime. Okay, so you kept one card that I know about. Or that I don't know about, really. <laughs> you got it. These white border islands are something, man. Mountains. These mountains are something. Okay, one down. Guess we're just playing this guy. Why why are you doing this? One more black? Okay. I'll get another land. Unfortunately, them hitting this was very, very good. Kragenwick Cremator? What the shit even is that card? I don't even know what that is, man. Why is that in the... Oh, really? Yeah, I'll just get a mountain. That was really mature of you. These rats have come to collect their debt. <sighs> See, when we're going for a discard strategy and they're able to get a card that, that essentially draws them three or four cards over the course of a game, it's pretty brutal. I'm trying to find the Crag and Wick. Oh, here we go. Here we go. 
Oh, with Impervious Great Worm or Galta? That's pretty hilarious. Oh man, one more land would have been nice here. <laughs> to defeat the Huns. Did they Eldest Reborn? Actually, Eldest Reborn would have been strictly worse because they just get a chicken back, so that's not even that good. <clears throat> my my issue with Kraken with Cremator right now is that it's probably like it's six dollars in real life now simply because of that stupid deck and what's it going for on moto still pretty cheap i can probably pick up some right now which i will likely do just to have them Yep. <clears throat> yeah, they're like 50 cents on Moto, so not a big deal. I'll just grab four. You gonna tap a rat? And you go to one again? Are we going to get you to one again, a second game? Oh, we're in our draw step, sure. Um, get a black source. Put that in the graveyard. Oh, you were going to try for some shenanigans, weren't you? You should have just played that. Well, it makes more sense why... Uh Why Imperious Great Worm is like four tickets on Moto now. <laughs> All right. So. We have so much discard that it seems like we should be in good shape here, but... I mean, we barely lost game one, so. They were at one, and then they had exactly 18. Like, if they went for 17, um, they would have lost, which is interesting. That is an interesting... I'll keep this hand. <laughs> aggressively, aggressively discardy here. How about a duress off the top? No. So our fingers are crossed that they don't have a thematic compass here, but they always do. No, they didn't. Treasure map is, is better than... Uh... Legion War Boss, get out of town, buddy. Um, next turn we can duress and yeah, I'll actually put that on top. That's pretty good. Next turn we can duress and thought erasure, erasure, thought Ephraser. Oh, detection tower. Oh, that's hilarious. <laughs> detection tower, get out of here with that. Meaner than old King Kong. 
Running in a junkyard. Oh, Immortal Sun, huh? Mm-hmm. You can't play either of these next turn for any sort of uh, any sort of value, so. Toss salads and scrambled eggs. God, they always hit it. It's oh god. Yeah. yeah. Did they play a mountain? They discarded the mountain to the rat. So this is their hand. So we can just rip apart their hand. And then we can refill with Notion Rain next turn. Why doesn't this just say until the end of turn your opponents and creatures your opponents control lose hexproof? Wouldn't that be just I mean I mean it's functionally there's probably there's probably some nuanced functionality difference that I wouldn't uh, account for. But I still think it's more elegant. Like it might be worth that reduced functionality. Or that different functionality it might even be reduced. We could also just keep one in hand, because I don't think we care about Meteor Golem at this juncture. I do care about that, though. You will stay on the top, and we are going to Water your Grave next turn. Yeah, so in order to get, to get around like um to get around something like okay, so if they if you activate this and then after that they play it because they lose hexproof. So, um if they didn't have hexproof at the time, if they get hexproof after that, then you ought to, you ought to, obviously they get hexproof again, right? Um to account for that, it, it should say uh, until the end of turn your opponents and creatures your opponents control lose hexproof and cannot gain hexproof. And then it seems like it's significantly less wordy. It's much less verbose that way. I mean, I wouldn't say this is going to be a win yet. They have a lot of turns. They have two very, very good artifacts on board. I mean, we have a we have a Ralzar coming down the pipe, but sure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Actually, they can play. Now they can play Meteor Golem, which is which is bad if we play Ralzaric. Yeah, so we'll Thought Erasure that. We'll Notion Rain and Thought Erasure. I uh, don't care about Plague Crafter here. Yeah, I don't care about either of those, to be honest with you. No. Um, hmm. Double Duress, huh? Okay. Huh. Well, that's what we're getting rid of, and we'll put you on the bottom. So you have a Power Stone shard. I guess you played the mountain because that's how mountains work. So uh, we could have thought of issued the golem last turn, sure. But I would have rather given them more chances to uh, draw other cards that we cared about at the time.
Yeah, they weren't at any risk of casting a, a meteor golem on the board, right? We had nothing we had nothing on the board that was really gonna um be threatened by a meteor golem. So I was like, if we can just wait till next turn. Yep, that's a good top deck. So we have a power stone in hand. We can kill this with a Ral, but then it just comes back, so that's not great. Well, Burglar Rat's just better than Duress here. Although Disdainful Stroke is pretty nice. So if we bottom Burglar Rat, we can keep this and maybe hit a land. We did not hit a land. So I'm going to get rid of this and hopefully we'll... Man, things are not working out for us here. I really need one of the Vraska's contempts that we. Sure. Mm hmm. Well, I don't actually even like that here because they don't have anything in hand. Why is Magic Online so and going so slow? This is actually kind of. This is kind of tilting. Like it's. Let's see if that fixed it. We just closed down. I want to hit a land here. We did it. So now we're on a two turn clock instead of a three turn clock, which is rough, but. This is really just top deck Bainfire. Destroy land, sure. Yeah, no, it's still lagging pretty bad. I don't actually know why. Are you like responding to the hydrated bot? <laughs> like, are you trying to like, you trying to like, like talk down to the, like the, to the bot? <laughs> like, uh, or stupid idiot, just drink when you're thirsty. Why would you hate hydrate? I don't understand why you'd hate something though. Like really you spend that much emotional energy uh, about a, about a bot. Seems a little excessive, but you're talking to me. I but I didn't say anything. Reminders, yeah. It's like, I mean, if you're sitting there streaming and you're not thirsty, you might still need to be hydrated. Just because you don't think you're thirsty doesn't mean you're not. It doesn't mean you're adequately hydrated by any means. Faraska's contempt off the top. Simulation one time. You, I, it's not my hydration bot. It's just in the chat. Why not drink when you're... Th I mean, you do... People do... I literally... I don't understand what you're getting at. Why is this even a conversation we're having? This is so weird. So thirst doesn't exist... Of course it exists for a good, good reason. 
it thirst exists because you're already dehydrated when you're drinking and you feel thirsty. Why get to that point? Just, just I don't even understand. Like it's just a bot, man. Who gives a shit? <laughs> what do you? I care. I don't understand. How dare you remind me of something, bot? I am smarter than you. All right, so. I don't think the ritual sets are very good in the main deck right now. I also don't think standard's in a position where you really need these. Like it's like instead of someone telling you, instead of someone reminding you to have dinner, just wait till you're starving, and then you can eat. That's not that's not a like a that's not a friendly reminder. Like it's literally your body telling you that you need to change something because something is going wrong. I don't care either. You literally said out of nowhere, or try drinking when you're thirsty. Seems to have worked for the last thousand years. Like you started the whole thing. <laughs> I don't understand anybody, man. What a bunch of nonsense. All right. Um, I think I like Disinformation Campaign more than Burglar Rat. I also like Disinformation Campaign. I think it's good. Hmm. I'm going to try it with the Disinformation Campaign. Um, I also... Yeah, we're also bringing one more of these dudes in here. Hold on. Yeah, you, even you get hungry, but the problem is, like, you're not streaming for six to eight hours, and you might not forget to eat. Like, usually when you're sitting there watching TV or you're at work, like, you're like, oh, I can just go grab a... I'll take a break and grab a, uh, grab some food. But, like, it's not really the same when you're streaming. So, like, why you'd begrudge a free bot that doesn't actually encumber anything or hurt anyone because they're providing a service that you might not happen to agree with doesn't really make sense to me. But, you know, to each their own, I guess. Uh, Freebooter's not discard, so I'm kind of uh, I'm kind of opposed to it. Hello and welcome to Climbing Daily. On a recent trip to Spain with the rock busters climbing there's like a and Adam on there's the some audio coming through I don't know where though with a great man to chat about climbing oh it's I know what it's from climbing, training and everything else in between. okay I figured it out cool 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 should I, should I do headphones? and I got Joe Rogan popping up dang there's so many things going on right now all right we're back we're back <clears throat> Nicholas When was my last drink? I don't even know what your point is, man. I'm done. I'm done with this ridiculousness. This is this is silly. My last drink was literally when you said, or just drink when you're thirsty. And I was like, oh, that's a good idea. I'll have a drink. And I drank because I was reminded to do so because otherwise I was in an intense game and I wasn't really focused on my thirst level or drinking or staying hydrated. So, I mean, you know, then <laughs> at that point. Oh, hungry now, I bought. Um, I'm gonna put a hostage taker in the sideboard. I'm gonna add another one too. I like to have some artifact removal. I don't like this one. I don't like these one ofs here. These fun ofs. I'm gonna take out these scriptures because what? What are we doing here? I'll bring the. I'll put the sooty tooties in the sideboard.
This is also a lot of counter spells. All right. Um, what are we bringing in here? Oh, I did. I yeah. Uh, Golden demise again. Like I get these are cards that are just good sometimes, not all the time. I don't actually think you want essence scatter. Like the problem is we're doing so many things on turn two that have to do with creatures that are that have to do with uh. We want to play them on turn two. Is basically what I'm getting at here. Crater Maker. Oh, Crater Maker's not bad, actually. That's actually a pretty good... Uh, that is actually a pretty good option for artifacts. I also feel like even though we have... I think we definitely want another Sulphur Falls. Like, we don't have many red cards, but we do have red cards we want to cast. So, yeah, I'm going to take out these. I'm going to bring in Crater Maker. I don't think we're going to see that matchup at all, but it's still just a good card. I don't think we need all. I don't think we need all of these. I'm bringing one more of these. I like this sideboard a little better here. All right. Um, this is 60 cards. That's pretty good. I don't think we need Fort Vraska's Contempts either. Angrath does aid in our discard. I'm actually going to see what cards what discard options we have in standard. Text, discard. Blue, black, red. Including these colors, at most these colors. And standard. One one of map blood, but none of those do it. Why? But like those don't really do anything for us. Plus, we don't have that much. Um. Why the plague crafter? Plague crafter is pretty insane against the the control decks that don't have any creatures. So you either take down like a Lyra or a Teferi. I take out one Vraska's contempt. Yeah, also good against things like Carnage Tyrant, correct. Hmm. There's actually not too many options outside of this. Uh, Eldritch Reborn costs five. Which, I mean, we also have Eldritch Reborn in the main deck, so, like, I don't want to really go for Eldritch Reborn and no Plague Crafter. Ah, oh, that deck is not correct, just to be clear. Let me update that, though. This is impromptu, so... I don't actually see any other standard cards that make you discard that are, that are better than what we have right now, which is pretty interesting. Yeah, Divest is actually interesting. I wonder if we want to split. I don't think Divest is terrible. I might play one Divest, three Duress. Oh, I do like Thief of Sanity a lot, actually. Thief of Sanity is one of my favorite cards, to be quite honest with you. I'm going to put Thieves in here. Oh, that's that's not the one we want. Uh, I'm going to probably take out one Night Veil Predator. One Shiv and Fire can go. I mean, one other card to cut. I guess we can cut one Disinformation Campaign. Uh, I miss Gonti, but not nearly as much. Yeah, Thief's Thought of Ritual. I mean... 
so <laughs> go on tell me more uh i mean disinformation campaign is good with no sources of surveil because it's literally you draw one they discard one i mean if you can trigger it one time you're already way ahead Oh, okay. So you were referring to uh, when we had Ritual of Soot. Yeah, I actually want to try this and see if this is better. I think this is good for now. I do like... Um... You found Divest Miss more often. Interesting. Uh, I don't love INIs because you have to have a red and a blue, both of which are like the splash colors for the deck. And also three mana is, uh, feels worse than two mana in this deck. It feels worse than most decks, but I mean, in this deck, you it feels like you have a lot of two drops that you want to play. So you can be like two drop, also keep up counter spell. Oh, that's a good point. I do like, yeah, Divest hits Planeswalkers. That's worth, or uh, Duress those rather. Yeah, I'll just I'll just play the four Duress. I think it's probably better. Someone else said something other than Thief of Sanity, which I actually liked. Oh, Doom Whisper. Yeah, Doom Whisper is good, but like, I don't know. I don't feel like it's necessary here. I like Thieves and Nickel. Yeah, this is actually I like I like this configuration better. Let's see what we can do with it, though. Nope, don't want to play a modern match with this. That's not where we want to be. All right. Oh, I do like Unmerdy Go for the sideboard, but I don't think we need it right now. Oh, I, I did a whole thing on Patreon today about why Dream Eater is not good, unfortunately. So if you guys have not done so, you can check it out at patreon.com slash franklapore. Knock yourselves out. Listen to my 15-minute rant about, about Dream Eater. Matthew, are way to go, buddy. That is a good, uh, that's a good choice to vote on that bill. You must have might be better than Eldest to close out, but Eldest is pretty strong again. They're Planeswalkers, and you made them dis. Yeah, I agree with you. I also think this is a good uh, this is a good Eldest Reborn deck because of that. How many lands? Twenty four. Twenty four lands might be on the low side, but. <laughs> this hand is great. I'm a fan. 
I really like that the uh, the Shocklands have all of these come into play untapped, which is super, super nice. I justified it with only four or five drops. That's a way to do it. So now we want one of our, what, eight two drops or so? Eight one or two drops? 14 total? Okay, we can do it. Nailed it! Actually, I wasn't sure if we were going to do that, but I'm, I'm glad we did, so. Let's see what we got here against the, uh... Dark Bargain. Fine. <laughs> wow. Isareth, Isareth, Choop. This is just mono value. Oh, they don't have any land. They have a third land, though. Yep, yeah, of course they do. <laughs> oh, that's just... Isn't that just fantastic? All right, one time, no land for them, right? Eh? Am I right, guys? No land off the top, am I right? They just need to whiff. Oh, it looks like they might have whiffed. Also, having an Icerath on board and us making you discard is not ideal. Well, they didn't whiff, but... You know. This is cast, not play, so we can't hit lands, but I will... I'd do like a cast down here. <sighs> the problem is they just discard Ravenous Chupacabra. So I'm pretty sure we're just playing this guy. Like any card that makes them discard is just better with an Isareth, right? Because then they just pay four, get Chupacabra back, kill your Thief of Sanity. No bueno. And they have a second Isoreth in hand, so. Yep. Uh, I can't see a reason not to block here. Land. See, this is why we want lands, because we definitely want to hit our land drops every turn. All right, so we know the three cards in your hand, which is nice. But you don't have a second green. Huh? You have second green, huh? Okay. Land. Need a land. Got to be a land. Not a land. It's not good. Yeah, I really wanted a land there. Campaign can draw land, but we want to hit five so we can kill the ice arrest so they can't get it back without without a fight. Because I really don't want them to go... Uh, I, I really don't want to campaign, have them discard Fine Broker, pay four any, of any color mana next turn, get back Fine Broker, and then just get back something else, like a like a Guildgate, and then play their second green and turn on their Fine Brokers. Like it's, it's, a, it's pretty bad for us if they... Uh... We also can't kill this. Because then they get that back and kill our Nicol Bolas, which is also bad. I mean, we could Thought Erasure and just take whatever the other card is. They didn't play a land. But again, if it's a creature like a Chupacabra, they just get it back. It probably wouldn't be. They'd probably just kill this. Sweeney boy, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Okay, that was actually a good hit. And I will leave you on top. All right. Not bad, not bad. They get a Bronto Don here, which is pretty good. That's just a free Bronto Don.
What is the? What is that? Oh, <laughs> uh, we see, return target creatures. Come around, a corpse. This is a corpse counter. That's fantastic. That's great. I'm a fan. Blackwell, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Yeah, we're just going to kill this. We know your hand is two fine brokers, so maybe we can race you here. You'd have to get a green, and then you still can't really cast anything. Okay. They got back Isareth. Seems good. So we know your hand is a broker burger zibidi bop skibidi bop beep burp 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 I'm pretty sure this is just around time. I don't want them to get rid of this, but maybe I do. Yeah, this is probably the play, right? They don't have the mana to do all the things they want to do, so. Their hand is fine broker, fine broker, isoreth, and uh, something else. Oh, I see. Big Choops. Yep, fine burger gone, so... Wait, what did I say? What did I say? We can actually get their fine broker back and get back our nickel bolus and replay nickel bolus. This, uh, this is actually a pretty good position for us. Or we can just get their chupacabra and kill their isoreth. Um, I don't want this guy attacking is the problem because then they just get to get back chupacabra, right? So. Isareth, Choop, Fine Broker. I'm pretty sure it's just gold. I think it's just Chupacabra. We, we're in pretty good shape here. Uh oh yeah, I forgot the yeah, well, that doesn't that doesn't work though, right? How does the timing work on that? I, I wish I could see this. Um Sacrifice it after three. So this ability would resolve. Would I don't know if that's gonna be on the stack, but I think it's okay. Okay, it does work. I wasn't sure how that would work. I, I I didn't think it would work, but now I know now I know that it would. Uh, no, I do not foresee taking two damage here. This is a this is a pretty nice com this is a pretty nice combination. Uh, that's what this is known as. It's a, it's a combination. I'll put you in the hand. You got it. Finally got that second green. What are you what are you hitting? What's your hit? Isareth. Like you do. Golden demise. So in your hand is Isareth and one other card. Let's see what we can hit here. Uh, I actually just want the... Oh, actually, we're going to Thought Erasure the Isareth out of your hand. I feel like we're doing well here. Oh, now we're probably just going to Burglar Rat. <laughs> like you do. Old Burgles. It's your Burgle Boy. <laughs> oh, good times. And then we'll just pass, right? We got nothing to prove here. Actually, we're going to attack. And now you have nothing. 
How many times can the same ice earth go to the graveyard? I don't know. A uh, good amount. Oh, they're going to kill Elvis Reborn, unfortunately. But then they're likely just going to die, so... Blue, black, and this guy. So three separate deadly dudes. They have no cards in hand, so... I won the game. I don't really care about many of these cards. Hostage Taker is probably pretty good here. I'll take one of these out. We'll bring in this guy. Eldest Reborn is also... I'm okay with all the things that are happening here. Is capable. Duress. We have lots of good uh, Demir three drops, but uh, we do kind of need a third land. I would also take a one or two drop on the next turn, followed by a land on the following. T oh, that's sad. What do you think? Disinformation campaign? Probably. Yeah, I almost think disinformation campaign is better than Ocean Rain, but if you take out the Ocean Rains, uh, you have fewer disinformation campaign triggers. So, so <clears throat> I guess we're just playing Thief of Sanity here. Hoping it resolves. It's going to resolve. Cheesecake flavored crusts. Not okay. Oh, it did stick. So this is where they go. Ravenous big chups. Ravenous chuparinos. Yeah, they never don't have it. It's really kind of, it's kind of, it's kind of incredible. Mm -hmm. Is it worth it to buy Magic Online? I mean, if you if you play Magic a lot and you want to be playing it online, I think so. I mean, I'm someone who streams Magic Online at least five to six days a week, so I would say yes, but I mean, yep, Eldritch Reborn's pretty good here. Can we hit an Eldritch Reborn? That'd be gas. We didn't, we didn't hit that. Yeah, if we're going to take one of the two, I might as well take the one I get to choose. They get to get back either Nicobolus or a Thief of Sanity, though, which is pretty good. I guess we'll discard this Watery Grave. <laughs> Did I do a March Simpson impression? Was it an... Oh, wow. Wow, that's disgusting. Well, I'm having a good time. Yeah, I don't know how he beat that, actually. Next turn, they're going to get a Ralz Eric. Turn after that, they get a Nicol Bolas. Or vice versa.
I don't know what I'm waiting for. This is pretty bad. So their hand is duress, which is nice because we have no targets for it. Discard a card. I will get rid of Burglar Rat. Oh, they get back Fine Burger and get back Eldritch Reborn. Yeah, that's pretty good. Why the Fine Burger? Now I reborns the Fine Burger to get the Reborn. Yeah, because I didn't think about that. That's why. Also because Duress was blank at the time, so. One, two, three, four. One, two, we are one man away from playing both of these dudes. I might actually, you might be right. I'm actually out now. Appreciate the reminder, though. Because reminding things is reminding people of things is friendly and not inherently bad. Yep, now they get the Ral. Ral can only deal three though, so that's good. We know they have a duress in hand, which is a blank. Of course, I'm not eager to trade with either of these guys because then they just shoot Nicol Bolas. I would have probably grabbed Nicol Bolas back if I was them because then I would discard my last card. What just happened? Oh, just to deal an extra point? Oh, and then they get to kill Nicol Bolas after that. Yeah, that's very good. Oh, wow. Just, just have it all. One, two, three, four. Yep, we're going to go to the next game now. Third are you sure you're playing your own game? Or are you are you just living vicariously through our game? Because... Um, yeah. Shiv and Fire seems actively bad, unfortunately. Disdainful Stroke seems actively good. It gets rid of all the cards you care about, like Chupacabra. Um, Eldest Reborn and Fine Broker, so I think that's fine. Yikes. A second land would be nice here. I think we'd win a second land. I think we'd win. <laughs> also, no red here. Oh, that's pretty brutal. This hand is not great, but I'm going to keep it. We can play anything we draw. Oh, God, I really want to keep this, but I think we'll be fine if we don't. I really want some action here. Besides, if they duress us, we're so good. Please duress us. <laughs> they didn't duress us. That's rude. No, we get to duress them, though. What do we got here? Cast down, dark bargain, Liliana's contract, two status and statutes. And only two lands, huh? Okay.
Cause you're on the verge of dehydration. Take a look and you'll see. Wow, they just hit three lands off the top. That's pretty impressive. Good for them. Way to go. Uh, so statue is not a card. Status is not a card. So this should be their five card hand because they literally drew Foul Orchard into Evolving Wilds. In a world of pure imagination. I imagine they get rid of cast down here. Yep. It's all coming together. Mm, yep. All gone. Played the forest. And I'll play this rally zone. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh, this guy. <laughs> Jeez. Feels good. Um, biscuits. It's got to be the Nickel Bolas, right? They're both making them discard, but... Oh, they didn't do anything. That's fascinating. I guess because Dark Bargain is an instant speed. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, okay. Now we're going to... Ooh, this is nice. Oh, we're having a good time, ladies and gentlemen. Um, Let's do this first. Oh, God, how many Nicol Bolas? Yeah, we're definitely just taking Nicol Bolas here. All right, so we're going to go Nicol Bolas. And they're going to they're gonna respond by Dark Bargaining so they can discard the weakest card. Or they're not. Oh, they are. Okay. Dark Bargle. Oh, man. You hear those neck pops? Give me them neck pops. What do you got? Isereth and Alilial's contract. I'm just going to let you have the Isereth. And I will keep that on top. I will keep that on top. Oh, you got it. Nobody cares. Do I have to flip this guy? They played a Swamp, right? Okay, so we don't know any of the cards in their hand. I mean, we might as well attack. If we try to flip it and they have a removal spell, we'll kill it anyway, so we might as well get the four damage in, right? <laughs> might as well, right? Okay, well. Um... I'm going to kill you. I'm going to flip my nickel. Okay, well. Target creature or planeswalker into, on, a, on a battlefield? Do I want to do that? They have one card in hand? Yeah, we want to do that. In a world of pure nickel bolus. <laughs> Not like this. We can't just flood out and die. Uh, is that what you think we're doing? Because, oh, they're basically just killing themselves. They draw four, though. That's a lot of cards. And we get to get rid of at least two of them. God, we get to draw like a million cards. This is unreal. Draw two. Draw two more. Or draw one more, I guess. Oh, I'll keep that for sure. Um, Play this guy. So much we have one, two, three, four, five, six. We have eight mana, so we can go three, four, five, six, seven. We can keep make them discard two things, two of the most relevant things, and still keep up disdainful stroke. Thank 
Thank you. Freedom Cobra. Thank you so much. <laughs> do to do, do five month Anna. Do, I don't know what is that like. A, are you doing a baby shark thing? Because I, I don't want it in my head. I'm gonna avoid it at all costs. Either way, appreciate the resub. Thank you so much. Five month anniversary. Do 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 do. And I get to bounce my dude back. Um, cast down. Don't care about that. Oh, yeah, we'll keep you. You're a good dude. Did I play land? I did. Did I use both of these? I did. Are we going to pass? We are. All right. Here we go. Chupacabra. Do, 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 do. Oh, and then we... That's how you win the game. This is how you win the game. I would rather have another Ralzarek than the Angrath. By the time you play Angrath, you're more you're more concerned with rebuilding your hand than their hand. Um I also kinda want another disinformation campaign. Card is good. I also want another land. I think another Sulphur Falls. Actually, Dragon Skull Summit's probably better. We have a lot of black. All right, so what do we got here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I this these should just be uh, these should just be Dragon Skull Summits. You should be maximizing the amount of of these lands, the Dragon Catacomb, Dragon Skull Summit lands, just because you don't really care about basic lands in standard that much. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. This is fourteen black sources. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10 red sources and 4, 5, 6, 79, 10. I don't know, 4, 5, 6, 79, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. This is 17 blue sources. So, yeah, like you actually don't need this many islands. You can actually take out, put another one of these in there. Take out this, put another one of these in there. Because you already have 8, 10 ways for, uh, 11 ways for these to come into play untapped. Like you should just be maximizing these for sure. Um, what else do we have here? I think we could cut one Notion Rain. I don't like it, but I do want to add another, I want to add another land. Maybe cut a Shivan Fire. I'm not in love with Shivan Fire. I just didn't want too many tap lands. See, these aren't going to be tapped, though. I guarantee you. Because, like, for, for Drowned Catacombs, for example, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We have 11 lands that make them come to play untapped. For Dragon Skull Summit, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 11 ways this comes into play untapped. For Sulphur Falls, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6... Seven, eight, nine, ten ways to come and to play untapped, <clears throat> and like having one more basic is not really going to change that. Hmm. I'd also, yeah, I'll put in a second island. That seems fine. I don't actually think we care about Crater Maker. There's not many artifacts that we really care about. I think we just put it in there because we put it against that mono red deck the first time, but I don't think it's super relevant. Cut one Thief. Oh, man, Thief is so good on three, though. Like, being able to, like, Thought Erasure or Duress their threat and then playing a Thief. I actually like this. We need one more sideboard card, though. I'm not sure what it could be. Uh, the only reason I'm not cutting the Notion Rain is because I like it over... I like it with Disinformation Campaign. I'd rather have a Duress cut because, like, sometimes Duress is just a blank. 
Is there anything inside for enchantments? Not really. I mean, these are these are the three colors that don't have any any say in enchantments. Like we already have negates and duresses and thought erasures, so like you just hope to get it out of their hand before they do anything with it. We do need one sideboard card. I'm not sure what it's going to be. It might just be the Shivan Fire for now. I think Ral is... I think Ral is actually great in this deck because you have so many cards that go to the graveyard early, like Notion Reigns and all these. <laughs> Meteor Golem. I have PTSD because of aggro decks that is... Yeah, that's fair. I just don't think... That, I don't see that much aggro in Standard right now. Why do I keep entering the Modern? I think my eyes are like, ooh, one needed. Let me join that. And then I enter it. And then it's like, oh, I'm not playing this format though, so... Yeah, see, this is a situation where the Drowned Catacombs are, like, messing us up. But either way, I'd probably mulligan this hand anyway. Maybe. Nah, we'll keep this. I'm fine with it. Yeah, once you have Boros and uh, Rakdos... I think you're in good shape there. Not a keep? You're wrong. Get wrecked. Did you see me wreck him? God, he got so wrecked. Look, it's right there. I don't even know what you're concerned with. Never didn't have it. All right, what do we got here? Electromancer, this, that, the other thing. Let's get rid of... Let's get rid of Electromancer because they really can't do much without the Electromancer. And put that in the graveyard. I hate you for not being punished. False. False. Black Bear. Beats, Bears, Battlestar Galactica. They just. Okay, so hold on. They charted a course. Okay, so Discovery Dispersal are not individual cards. You don't have to show them like that. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, same thing with Explosion and Expansion. Okay, so they had six. They got rid of Charter Course, and they got rid of Mountain. So this is the four we know about. Oh. See, this is why I like Thief, Thief of Sanity, because like, there's never a time where I'm like, man, I wish I didn't have more. If they kill it, I'll just play another one. If they don't kill it, it's really going to go the distance 100 never didn't uh, one never didn't have it buck appreciate it steven thank you so much buddy oh man we're so good at this game do you understand how good we are at this game it's not even a question oh they got an arc like phoenix in the graveyard that's worth noting what are we gonna hit here oh an opt that's a free opt that's great so now we can play this, play Thief number two, keep up a red and a blue for... Ooh, two thieves. If we hit a land, which we are likely to do with Opt, we can also Eldest Reborn and kill their Crackling Drake if that is an option. I'm just going to kill this guy now. Bears, Beats, Battlestar Galactica. Oh, are we going to draw two free cards here? This is one of my favorite cards in Standard right now. I don't think it's actually close. <laughs> Stack your thief triggers. All right, I'll resolve this one first. Look, they stack them for me. That's rude. Ooh, do I get a free Crackling Drake? I'll take that. That guy seems good in our deck. 
I'll just take the radical ideas, unfortunately. Maybe we can hit a land drop. Mm. You got it. The train just pulled into Value Town. Ow! I just stubbed my toe. Oh, God. I'm having a bad time right now. <laughs> oh, that doesn't feel good at all. Oh. <laughs> Oh, biscuits. Ow. Oh, there's a real pain happening right now, and it's not friendly. Ah. Ah. Oh, long time you watch your first time catching the stream. Good Goddard Hazard? Goddard Hazard? Really appreciate it. Oh, God. Oh, it doesn't feel good. I'm having a bad time. Okay. Uh, I don't actually think Shivan Fire is great here. I'd much rather have Negates. Oh, wow, we're having so bad of a time, guys. Oh, the cringe is so real. <sighs> um, it's because I my I had my foot on the on the on the foot on the leg of the chair. And then I accidentally pushed forward so that my foot, my toe, like was was bent. And then it just slammed into the ground. It it, it was surprisingly more. I don't 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 get me wrong. I'm I'm just as confused as you are. But oh my god, we're having a bad time. Oh, see this one I'll mulligan. This one I'm not that greedy. And this one I'll keep. This is how we do it. Keep it. Uh, we're definitely keeping that against this deck. Turn one, Water Grave into Duress. Turn two, uh, other things is... I guess we could just play Swamp here. Not take two. Okay. Lightning Strike. Okay. This hand is actually pretty unimpressive. We can next turn we can thought erasure that that crackling Drake. One stub bug. <laughs> that's just painful. That's just not. That's just no bueno. Either way, thanks, Josh. Really appreciate it. All right, we're gonna dismiss all this, get rid of this guy, and now your basic. Ooh, yeah, we'll keep that guy on top because we can cast him on turn on Quattro. Wow, I can't get over how, how painful that was. What did they play? They played a Watery Grave. So now they have these two lands and some nonsense, I guess. Some stay dry while others feel the pain. Ocean rain. Put that in the graveyard. I don't really care about the duress here either because reasons. So we're gonna go to 12 and then we're gonna get 10 if we play the Water Grave untapped. I don't actually love that, but no. Thanks, Magic. Black, black, blue, blue, Night Veil, Gentleman. Is this the island they played? Oh, they played a different island. Oh, I love it. Now we know they have that island at hand still. Although this is a good looking island. Um, block. Oh, dang it. So what did you play this turn? Oh, you didn't actually play any of the lands. You played a Dragon Skull Summit. So I sh you haven't played either of these. So that's good to know. I feel like we just keep up Vraska's Contempt and Negate. I don't think you're in any position to Arclight Phoenix here. Actually, I'm not even sure what you would play. If you top like, like a Rouse Eric, I guess we can keep this in hand. Yep, don't care about that. Meh. 
What land did you play? You played this, 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 uh, Bustling Storm Island? That's what we're gonna call. That's it's, that's your name now. I think I'm just gonna take two. I have no way to deal with this guy, so we're gonna just kill this guy here. <laughs> uh, I am gonna Notion Rain, I think. Oh, interesting. I'll keep the disinformation campaign. I'll ditch the rat. Oh, boy. We're hoping to hit a land there. I think we're just going to keep Negate up. The only thing we're scared of is a... Uh, is like a Ralzaric or something. Any creature we can just deal with on our own time, I think. Okay, so we still we know you still have this mountain in hand, which is good for us. Shut up and take my money. Oh, the Frank's Toe Recovery Fund. One buck towards toe care. That's good. I appreciate that. What are the odds they have a counter spell? What if, what if that's their last card? Do we do we think it is? Did they just top like a counter spell? No. All right, that feels nice. Notion rain, notion rain. I never meant to cause you any trouble. Never meant to cause you any pain. Most of their threats are creatures, I think. That's my impression of uh, Munsonster. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, they're going to do it. They're going to bring their Arclight boy. Oh, here we go. Well, we do get to... We're going to go to five, and then we get to go to seven. Which I'm okay with. Uh, if we hit a land, it'd be great, because then we can Vraska's Contempt. Oh, they just killed Ral's Eric. Well, that is a... That is a real tragedy. Oh, well, we did want to land. So now we can go Thought Erasure. Uh, we're definitely getting rid of Crackling Drake here. Uh, put that in the graveyard. I will pay two to get rid of this idiot. Alright, so your hand is these four cards. Uh, Mountain is still present, right? Radical, yep, so often Radical Ideas are gone. Radical Ideas number two is gone. Discarding Arclight Phoenix. Well, this card's a real pain in the ass. Mm. What I what I add? I need a blue. Yeah, there we go. That's not going to do it. God, I feel like we were so far ahead this game. I have no idea what happened. And we get to go to three. They don't have anything in the graveyard that they can do. Are you going to negate this? Wow, you have no class. All right. I think their last card is just a mountain, so I'm not too worried about it. I mean, it probably should be, right? Mm, okay. Wait, how did they... Was it not a mountain? Did they discard the mountain? The mountain's on the... Is that the mountain? I don't even know. Wow. Okay, well, that's a thing, I guess. That's less than a thing. All right, so... Negate actually seems pretty bad here. I'm not a big Negate fan anymore. Because all the cards that we care about countering, we don't care about countering. I don't want to counter a chart, of course, or anything like that. So Negate was actually a pretty bad... Uh... I think these are actually better. <laughs> Surprisingly. Did not see that coming, but here we are.
not even sure I like this many duresses. I probably cut a duress for like a, another ship and fire, actually. <laughs> now I have purple rain stuck in my head. Uh, or notion rain, I guess. Whatever you want to call it. Uh, I will keep this hand. Uh, Lava Coil is good, but we also have Veraska's Contempt, so I'm not sure you need it. But, I mean, I don't think it hurts. Could be better than Shivan Fire, but... Yeah, actually, it's probably better than Shivan Fire, actually. Yeah, I like it better than Shivan Fire, actually, because it does get rid of both Rekindling Phoenix and Arclight Phoenix. All the Phoenixes that come back, all the, all the chickens that come back, you can just get rid of them. Uh, I don't think we care about duressing on turn one. It's just not important to us. What's up, Mind Bomber? That was a good draw. Well, that's not going to work. There we go. Let's use the correct manas. Electromancer, Electromancer, Crackling Drake. I have double uh, double Shiv and Fire, so I'm okay with that. I will definitely keep that on top. So, Sulphur Falls, like you do. This little, little dirt burger, like you do. I don't think I even care about this right now. We can actually wait to play this till next turn, I think. Uh, approximately how much longer? I'm not sure. A little bit. A donation deck. That is what Ollie and Trozzi calls them. Uh, I am not Ollie and Trozzi. <laughs> Although I love Ollie. Come on, you gotta respect the branding here. All right, so, uh, so we know you would you played this island, right? So, oh, that's a different island. I love it. That's so good for us. Hmm. Wow, walk ten miles home. Jesus. Whew. That is not that is not a reasonable amount of walkage. I kind of want to duress you first because I know we'll hit the opt whereas like I know you're not going to discard the opt though right I'm just going to play this and then shiv and fire this guy how do I make donations oh uh, I think the link is in the description below I don't know if I have a donate command there you go nailed it Oh, another Shivan Fire. Now I feel better about Shivan Firing this guy. Oh, I don't... Okay, that was a good amount. Dang it. Let's get rid of all these guys. All right. I feel like we're doing okay. Famous last words, I'm sure. This island's coming down? Okay. Now we know. Oh my god, really? All right, so you drew three of those. I drew three of these. We're having a good time. I will duress you. I'll hit the I'll hit the opt. Or I won't. Actually, you'll just cast the opt. Okay. So I know nothing. I'm basically the Jon Snow of this match. Oh, negate. All right. Now we're talking. Burgle your last card. Hope it's a good one. Okay. That's a reasonable one, I guess. And kill this guy. So you have no cards. Uh, one, one bacon bolt in hand. <laughs> Get ratted on. Sometimes you just gotta pay the rat debt, you know? You know how it is. That was a good top deck. 
As far as top decks go, that is a choice one. We're going to draw Thief of Sanity. Did we take all the, all the good cards, like uh, Thief of Sanity's, Nicol Bolas, things like that, Ral's Eric's? Are those just not in the deck anymore? I feel like they should be, right? I think my ride debt's under control. Oh, yes. Yes. Now we're talking. That's that's a pretty good card to just hit on an empty board when they tapped out. Uh, I'll take the rat here. What does he deal? One, two, three, four, five, six, six damage. That's pretty insane. I guess I could have just read the card, but, you know, who's got the time? They have two cards. We don't know what either of them are. I'll go down to one card, though. Oh, a disinformation campaign? I don't think we need a second one. Let's play a play a black man and actually cast our burglar rat correctly. Oh, I like that they discarded that because they could have actually just stolen this guy. And uh, now that's less of an option. Post burglar rat thief of sanity. Are you guys are you guys with us right now? Because this is this is the magic that's happening. Oh, and we win the game. I guess Ral Zarek and Thief of Sanity are too much to deal with. I am a fan of what's going on with this deck. However, I do like Lava Coil a lot more than Shiv and Fire because instead if you need to kill something with four four toughness, um you spend one more mana instead of four more mana, which is very relevant. Plus, like, it just kills so many more things. It kills Golgari Finebroker for cheap. It kills uh, Rekindling Phoenix and Arcolite Phoenix. Getting them out of there is relevant. Brian, what's, thank you so much, buddy. Thank you for the, uh, the donation bucks bits. <laughs> are they bucks or are they bits, though? Can they be both? I don't think so. I think you're getting... Uh... I could see two and two. Or one two maybe. I just like the I'll, I'll keep the one the one ship and fire on the sideboard. That's really the only that's the only change I think we need to make here. I actually like the way this the deck the way the deck has been playing. I think thief is great. I think uh, Ral is great. Burglar rats have been doing some solid work. Yeah, this being water grave is just insane. I will keep it. The one man is relevant, so it's the instant speed. I've gone back and forth on this one a lot. Uh, I I agree with you. I think both are relevant. However, we're not a deck that's like keeping up a ton of mana. We're playing. We're tapping out on our turns, like notion rains, creatures, planeswalkers, enchantments, um, duresses. Like we have very few instants in the deck outside of like uh, Vraska's contempt. Like, if we had Lava Coil in game one instead of uh, Shiv and Fire, I think we probably could have beat the Rekindling Phoenix a lot easier. Obviously. How about Thought Erasure off the top? That would be nice. Oh, I think we're going to finally... Uh, we're going to have a nice fourth... Healer's Hawk? What is even happening right now? All right, that's close to a, that's close to a, uh, a Thought Erasure, I guess. How is the dead? Yeah, this guy's been fine. It will always trade with something, and it, uh, it's pretty hard to deal with. Oh, I see. This is what we're doing, huh? Okay. This guy is never surviving.
<laughs> we did. It's aggro all over again. The flashbacks are coming. I think we'll be okay. Ugh. Oof. Oh, I don't think they have it. If they have it, they just windmill slam it, kill our guy, and then flip Legion's landing. I mean, we're 100% blocking because I don't think they have... Uh... They could have the plus one, plus one card, which would be very good. Trade with a Thief of Sanity, but... I think we actually just want to take this. Hmm. These are the hard decisions. I think this is worth it. Like, they have to have Pride of Conquerors, and I don't know how many of these kind of decks run. So I'm actually okay with that. Okay. Do we get a hit off the of Sanity? Don't tease me, bro. Like, if you had a way to, f to kill this guy pre-combat, I can't imagine why you wouldn't. All right. Thief of Sanity is going to do his do his worst. What do we have in the board against aggro besides Ritual? Uh, some removal spells. What are we hitting here? Give me, like, a two soldier token. Give me, give me like, uh, sworn companions. Yikes. Not ideal. Yikes. How are you going to play Mystic Snake without green? Uh, it's also not in standard. So there are larger problems at hand. Yikes. How am I going to survive is more like the, the question of the hour here. Uh, I'm going to take six. It doesn't seem profitable to block against these guys. Golden Demise would be nice. My god, what are you doing, man? What? Fashionably late to the party. Shut up and take my money. Mindbar, hey, I watch your content all the time. Here's 10 MTG Arena sucks bucks from one crazy Floridian to another. I will accept it. Because it'd be really weird if I didn't, if I was like, no, no, I don't accept that. Thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. Come on, be something good. Mm. This makes two one ones. This makes one lifelink one one. I think we're just making the heroic reinforcements here. Make other reinforcements, huh? No. Play this. Come on, let's do it. A bar sumi. Thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Jokes on you. They had haste. No, oh, I guess the joke is on me. Stop? What do you s It's instant speed? No, it's not. This is a sorcery, bro. I ha I have done enough M19 drafts to know that heroic reinforcements is not an instant. Good lord, man. Get it together. Yeah, perhaps you were aware, but I've done about uh, 60 M19 drafts, so I'm pretty sure I know what one of the more powerful uncommons in the format is. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 
Definitely blocking here make you take eight. And then we'll just chump this guy. We'll take four. Gem is truly outrageous. Truly, truly, truly outrageous. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. Don't talk like you don't make... Good lord, man. Take it easy. Oh, actually, this is great because we can play like... Haunted Witness, uh, and oh, Ventna, yeah, Haunted Witness. Yeah, this is great actually. We get to Haunted Witness, we get to Vraska's Contempt here. I think we're doing okay. It just felt it felt aggressive. <clears throat> Either way, I think we're good. Uh, I think we're gonna make it through this. Yeah, I saw our tutus, and I, I was like, "Oh, they're just gonna trade with these tutus." But then I then they, I realized they were not tut. How nice that that was just on the top of your library. Block, block. Let's go to seven. Oh, these guys get haste too, so I'm pretty sure this is the end. I just don't want to do the math, so I'm just gonna kill this guy. And we'll figure it out. One, two, three, four, five. I think we're taking eight. And gaining none. Yeah, so that's going to be the game. Okay. Seems good. This guy can come in. These Ritual of Snoots can come in. I don't think Predator is going to make the cut. Eldest Reborn's not great here. <sighs> Duress, also not great. Yeah, this is fine. <laughs> 10 Frank is way better than I am at magic bits. Okay, that's good. I approve. Uh, the Vanguard Sarai Ritual. I, I mean, we're not going to not bring them in. Like, I don't know what to, I don't know what that. Sure, we don't really have better options though. I mean, rituals could maybe be Golden Demise. I don't know. Okay, well, that's not going to do it. Bottom. Oh my God. <laughs> What is even happening right now? Okay, another burglar rat's not ideal. What car should I get? 50k max? Um, I was just gonna Tesla my less. Oh, not Model S, Model 3. I think they're Model... What's the what's the, uh, what's the the more affordable one? M? Model M? I think it's Model 3. No. Yeah, it's probably Model 3. Yeah, do that. That's what I would get, so... Maybe we get away with this? Probably not. Yeah, I didn't think so. 
I think it's I think the chance is worth it's worth more than getting rid of a healer sock. Plus it deals four damage, so. Yikes. Okay, a third burglar rat. Yep, this is the hand we want. Oh boy, we're having a good time. I am going to concede this game because this is not a game we're going to be winning anytime soon, unfortunately. Well, that was a rough ending. Um, I don't think you actually need the Ritual of Soots. It, it felt good. Um, I think these should actually be Golden Demise just because they do kill the things in that in that red deck. Goldurn. Um, I think these are just better for what we want to want them to do. And like against the Golgari decks, I think we actually seem like we're in pretty good shape because we do have a ton of discard, and it's hard for them to uh, to really get going if we're making them discard their cards as well. Um, but I think I think the deck looks pretty sweet like this. I don't think this is actually uh, I I I like it, Monster. I think you. Uh, I think the rats, the uh, the disinformation campaigns, and the thought erasures and the duresses are actually very effective. And I think Thief of Sanity was also a good addition. I also think uh, Nightfield Predator did a good job doing what he did. Ral is advice where he was solid as a planeswalker and Eldest Reborn. It's just Eldest Reborn. I think it's very good. So I think I think the deck is actually sweet. I think it's actually playable in this condition, and I, I would not be uh, hesitant to take it to an event if I had to. So hopefully, hopefully you agree. Hopefully you think it's uh it, it looks pretty pretty decent and. Uh, Hopefully you uh, like the way it turned out, because if you didn't, that would be sad. But yeah, I think Golden Demise against the decks you want the kind of Ritual Soot Golden Demise effect, I think Golden Demise is probably better. And also the only card you're really going to hit with your own Golden Demise are your Rats and your Thieves. So I, I don't think that's a huge concession. Like you'll probably just won't play a Thief of Sanity if you're going to Golden Demise, so... Either way, if you guys are interested in having your own deck taken a look at by me, feel free to check out my Twitch profile or my Patreon link uh, profile. I guess. They're both, both links are in the description below. You can also check out meundies.com slash franklapore for 15% off and free shipping and free returns. And uh, that's a good deal because it helps you, it helps me. And uh, those are just some ways you can support the, the channel if you guys are interested. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons and I will check you out next time.